Now Rox and FXO are 2-2. We saw Sleeveco beating Lenok and Lucky to start out this, the uh, the clan war. And FXO Z took down Sleeveco and Livezerg. So we have a Zerg Slayer and Zerg Slayers basically. P pretty much just Zerg Slayers on both both sides. And now we Sorry, have level. another really cool match. We have a PvP FXO Z versus Rox Titan. So cats, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get into it. Three. Let's get into it. Two, one, go. Go. Oh. Titan is a really underrated player, in my opinion. Yeah. As as a whole, I think Rox is probably the most underrated team just from this entire series. Such good players that hardly ever get mentioned. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Titan has had some major upsets. He's he's beat Huck and a, and a few other like really really good players at what tournaments. What did he get? Uh, he got fourth at WCG, right? I believe so. Yeah. I think he lost to Cass in the third place match. I think. Don't know, but he's he's definitely really good and uh, has really impressive PvP results. So we'll have to wait and see how this goes. But yeah, Titan, good. Yep. So this game will break the two-two tie, and we will see if FXO can actually kind of bring themselves back. They're kind of on the back burner right uh, for a, a, a brief moment, and it's kind of a dangerous situation for them, actually. I think it would be a huge, huge upset if Rox manages to win this match, which I think is highly possible, given how their team is playing this this clan where they're, they're playing really, really well um, throughout the series. Absolutely, so, especially with the lineup that FXO has brought up out here. Yeah, it's like their best oh, players, too. Yes. Yeah. FXO Z, Lenok, Lucky, these guys are, you know, GSL, I mean, the MLG champion, GSL, yeah. top players. I mean, this is a pretty scary bunch of players in Rocks. Is showing that they, you know, they're not caving under the pressure, they're not feeling nervous, they're just playing standard games, especially the builds that they've been using have all been, you know, very standard, kind of yeah, normal exactly. builds. They're not. Yeah, yeah, they're not. They're not like, oh, I'm gonna choose this guy or I'm gonna lose. And they're they're playing to win and they're playing their best and they're playing like they're playing like no tomorrow. Yep, it's um, it's pretty good to watch. Um, I'm looking forward to this game, especially uh, PVP is a really interesting matchup, um, just like ZVZ and most mirror matchups in general. They're just what makes them more interesting than, than most matchups is that they're just so much more precise. You know, little, little things matter so much more in mirror matchups. Yeah, they're a lot more unforgiving. Um, and that's, yeah. Yeah, both players are going for uh, two gate. So we're actually, I mean, I'm very surprised that we're not seeing a four gate, which happens oh so often in PvP. Um, it just shows that this kind of a clan war format really tends towards more standard uh, and, and... What do you mean both play. players are going for a two gate? Say that again? Why behind? Are both players going for a two gate? Uh, no, actually. Ooh, oh, we okay. see a really interesting proxy pylon by Livezerg in the bottom, like, right-hand corner. Livezerg actually only has one gate Titan. right now. Oh, sorry, this is Titan. Sorry. Yeah, one gate from Titan and two from uh, FXOZ, so I'm really interested. Actually, both players, if you see uh, FXOZ as a hidden probe and and Titan as a, as a proxy pylon, so I'm kind of uh, just delayed. So three gates yeah. from Titan. I really wonder what that proxy pylon is for, and I wonder, wonder what that hidden probe is supposed to do. Yeah, I'm not sure. Some high-level play, brother. So we're gonna. I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for this probe, and it looks like it's finally scouting. It's probably gonna even find this pylon, which he does. Uh -oh, I don't really that know. That's gonna die, though. Yeah. Uh, if I was that cell, I would just go on the X-ray thingies. <laughs> just make him lag. Yeah, just make him <laughs> lag. <laughs> make him get sick or something. Yep. And it looks like we're gonna be seeing blink from Titan, and a fast expansion from FXOZ. This is really interesting, actually. This is Indeed. really ballsy. By both? Um, no, it's, I mean, standard 3-gate blink uh, from, from Protoss is pretty standard, but 
going for an expansion this quickly is not something you see every day. Um, okay. Yeah. Now uh, he is running off of only two gates, but he's been running off of two gates for a while. Yeah. Now he is going for sentry heavy play, which is going to be completely worthless against playing. Yeah. Um, that we do see a third gate coming down. I think. I mean, I'm. A fourth gate from uh, effect, uh, from Rock's Titan. So he is really looking to go aggressive. Four gate blink is not something that you normally go into a macro game with. And why are there? Why is he getting so many sentries? Um, this this might end up very badly for uh, FXOZ if he doesn't micro this correctly. Because four gate blink stalkers versus a sentry heavy army, when he'll only have probably one or two immortals at most by the time Titan attacks, and he has such a small <coughs> stock account, this uh, this could be pretty dangerous. But, that being said, if Titan waits too long to attack, this expansion is going to kick in, and this three gate is going to kick in, and FXOZ is going to be able to defend very, very well. So he really has a small timing window, like now, basically, that if he attacks, he'll be in a great spot. Um, which yeah, he is actually going in right now, so we'll have to see <laughs> how we can how we can control this. If you can pick off that immortal, um, I don't know, man. That immortal. Oh does wow! Great blink right on top of the immortal. He picks that off very easily, and this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all for FXOZ. Yeah, those cells are doing a bunch of damage though, and a second immortal should be popping out soon. Yeah, and wow, somehow. I'm not 100% sure how that battle battle turned out that way, to be honest. S very yeah. sentry heavy. And, yep. wow, blinks right on top of the Immortal. And this Immortal is going to get taken out, not before it takes down two Stalkers of its own. And Titan is probably going to be forced to retreat, which he is going to be doing, but he can't yet. All right, there he goes. Blinks. Blinks. All right, so he does, he does retreat. Yeah, he's. It's not looking good for him, though. Yeah, some. Yeah, this si this situation should have been much better for him, but it turned out to not be. I think it was. I think it was just a missed micro. Maybe he got a little too aggressive with that offensive blinking. Um, I think perhaps in that first engagement he should have blinked out after he killed the immortal rather than just try to kill him. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the battle ended up that way, but now FXOZ has a pretty sizable advantage, and I think, I mean, Titan is pretty much just going all in with this, actually. I mean, he's not building any more drones, he's just chrono boosting his gateways, and he's just going to continue to make um, units. If he had a robotics facility, and he had an observer, and he could kind of abuse mobility, I think he would be in a pretty decent position right now, but as it stands, um, yeah, there really isn't very yeah. much at all. This is not looking good at all. And actually, yeah, lives are GG. So FXOZ looks like he might be on the verge of performing a reverse all kill, which would be yep. pretty impressive. I mean, that guy is a good player, no doubt about it. So, Cats, what say ye, you that we just go straight into game six without a break? Let's do it. Let's do it.